Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathod. I have done MD in Forest Medicine and today we will discuss about cause, mechanism and manner of death. First we will discuss about cause of death. Cause of death is any injury or disease producing physiological derangement briefly or over a prolonged period and which results in death of an individual. So cause of death is the cause which has lead to the person to death. It is mainly an in, it may be an injury or a disease which produces physiological derangement in the body and it may be briefly or it may in a prolonged period leads to death of the individual. It is divided into immediate antecedent or a contributory causes. So this is required in making filling mainly of MCD. So MCD is uh, this is a medical certification of cause of death which is issued by doctors in form 4 or form 4A to the relatives as well as for in, as to maintain the registration. So in that we have to mention about immediate cause, antecedent cause or contributory cause which is present. So immediate cause is an yeah, injury or disease present at the time of terminal event. So any event which has led to the death that is immediate immediate cause that is called the immediate cause which is a terminal event is, is classified into immediate cause. Antecedent cause or pathological process responsible for death at the time of terminal event. So this is a process by which the person has died. So it leads to immediate cause. So antecedent cause leads to immediate cause to person to die. For example, the person has been uh, wounded by a gunshot, which may lead to peritonitis and person may die because of septicemia. So here the process, which is the gunshot wound leading to peritonitis to the death. So immediate death is septicemia, but the antecedent cause is peritonitis caused by gunshot wound. Next is contributed cause. So contributed cause is not related to death, but it is a pathological process involved in or complicating, but not causing the terminal event. So contributed cause is one in which it contributes to the cause of death. So it is not a cause, but it contributes to it. For example, if the person is anemic and if he has some injury like uh, uh, there is a accident and he may bleed so even the pers normal person usually has 5 liters of pent of uh, 5 liters of blood but anemic person may die even within the slight few liter if he loses few liters of blood also so that is a contributing cause of death next is manner of death manner of death explains how the cause of that came so it tells how the cause of death was there. So it is again divided into natural the death. It is mainly because of diseases. So any death related to diseases or infirmities, natural cause of death, unnatural. So unnatural cause of death includes homicide, where one person kills another person, suicide, where one person self harms himself to death, accidental, where some events leads to person to die, leads to some. Uh, mishap and person dies because of some accidental issue. One more is obscure causes. So where there is no lesion is found on autopsy and usually the cause is unknown. So manner of death is usually unknown in, in certain cases where even after autopsy there is no cause or manner is known. Next coming to mechanism of death. So mechanism is mechanism of death is it is physiological derangement produced by cause of death which results in death. So this is a physiological derangement which has produced by cause. So any cause of death which which may cause some derangement in the body is mechanism. For example, hemorrhage, septicemia, septicemia, shock. So these are all mechanism of death which has lead to cause of death. To summarize cause mechanism of manner of death, we will see in certain examples. For example, hemopoietonium. Hemopoietonium is a cause of death. This is why it is end event. It may be caused because of laceration of our aorta, which is consequence of blunt thoracic trauma. So here, the this is hemopoietonium is a cause of death, which is caused by laceration of aorta, which was caused by blunt thoracic air, blunt trauma. So this has led to this, and this has led to hemopoietonium. So this is the sequence by which the cause uh, death was occurred in a sequence. So this is the cause of death. Mechanism of death in this is hemorrhagic shock. So this is a physiological change which has led to death. Manner of death is accident. So 
there is trauma caused on blunt maybe because of uh, some foreign object fell on the person's thoracic region and the, it lead to laceration for aorta. So accidental manner of that is accidental. One more example is bronchopneumonia. Again, this is a terminal event which was caused by stab wound of thorax. So stab was there and the knife was stabbed into the chest and it took bronchopneumonia. And mechanism of that is septicemia because of infection, because of sequential of the injury, bronchopneumonia, the septicemia is physiologically arrangement. Manner is homicide. The one person was trying to stab another person. So that is manner of death. Next example is cardiac tamponade, that is compression of the heart by uh, fluid accumulation of fluid or inflammation, which was a result of consequence of gunshot wound. So gunshot of wound of thorax lead to hemorrhage and which compress the heart. Here physical condition is cardiac dysrhythmia. Because of compression of the heart, the heart wa rhythm was lost and there was dysrhythmia and the person died because of that. Manner of death is homicide because some person has gunshot to the wound. So these are my references. I hope you understood about cause, mechanism and manner of death. Thank you.